Hey everybody, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com. Today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on a Wi-Fi 6 solution for the home that is actually affordable. It is the D-Link Cover AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 Whole Home Mesh System. Now, in this review, we're going to take a look at the design of this cover unit from D-Link. We'll take a look at the install process and getting your Wi-Fi network set up and customized. And then we'll talk a little bit about the performance of this new Wi-Fi 6 solution. And then I'll end off with my final thoughts. And in particular, if it is, in fact, an affordable option for a Wi-Fi 6 solution. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and cue the intro. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the design of the... D-Link Cover AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 solution. Now you can just tell by looking at it, it is very unassuming. It is kind of got a cube shape. It's about, I'd say about four, four inches squared. There is a metal grill on the top with just this one little light on it. The white light shows that you are connected to the internet. So basically it is rather unassuming. You could put this on a shelf. To be honest with you, I don't even think a lot of people are going to notice it and know that it is a mesh satellite unit. Now the thing to know about it is, I'm just going to turn this around, you can see that I have it plugged in, but there are both a LAN internet port and a WAN port, so your ethernet and your internet. It's identical on both units and the reason that they've done that is that it doesn't matter which one you put your internet connection to, there is no main hub and then you have your other satellites. So that is an important um, thing to know about these mesh systems. They're very modular. So this comes in a two pack, which they say can cover about 4,500 square feet home, which is quite a bit for the majority of houses out there. But in the event that you want to expand or even strengthen your Wi-Fi network, you could actually add another one of these units to basically just like blanket your home. It could be, say you have a multi-floor room, maybe three floors and you want one on each floor. You could certainly do this. And that's what I really like about mesh systems. It's not like the old routers in the olden days that used to be sitting by your TV and then you're in the basement and you can't get an internet connection. Those days, thankfully, are, are gone because of mesh systems. And in particular, the new Wi-Fi 6, the, the 802AX, standard. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't even have Wi-Fi 6 in my home, so I was really interested in reviewing this to see how the performance is, especially compared to my current Wi-Fi 5 mesh system. So we'll talk a little bit about the performance a little bit later. Now let's talk about the install. When you purchase this, in the box you're going to find a quick start guide with a QR code. And that QR code is actually really important because once you download the D-Link Wi-Fi app, which is available on both Android and iOS, it'll ask you in the app to scan that. And I highly recommend you do it because for the install, it just makes it go smoothly. In fact, this took anywhere from maybe five, 10 minutes to, to get it installed. And the app pretty much does all the work for you. You do, however, it does come with its own Wi-Fi network and password, and you can find that on the bottom, or you can find that as well on the Quick Start Guide. So you, you do have to sign into that network at first to get the setup going, but after that you can rename it, and then inside the D-Link Wi-Fi app, you have a variety of controls. Now, parents out there, you're going to love this ability, and one of the um, controls is to just pause the internet. If you need to get your kids at the dinner table, I'm telling you, <laughs> nothing is going to get them quicker than pausing the internet. They will all be running from everywhere in the home to the dinner table just to figure out why their internet is not working. But you have further controls. You can have parental controls on a device. You can set schedules. You can turn certain devices off so the kids can't be on Instagram at nighttime when they should be sleeping. Parents, I'm telling you, you might think that this is difficult to do, but it's actually very, very easy, and you can set it up all from the app inside the inside your phone, essentially. 
Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the performance of this because like I mentioned, I do have a Wi-Fi mesh system in my home right now. So I was really curious because I'm just waiting to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6. Being a tech guy, you know, I feel like I should have a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system in my home. But it is kind of out of a reach. It, it's expensive system. This comes at a reasonable price. And so when I got to test it out, I was putting it through all my standard tests. Now, the first thing that I did is I actually put one of the units, as you can see right here in my studio. And that's because I want to, in the future, if I get a laptop with the ethernet connection, the ability to connect it directly to the mesh system. That just takes Wi-Fi out of the equation. Kind of, because remember, it's mesh, so it's still connecting to the other mesh satellite, but at least you have a wired Ethernet connection. And if you have the ability to do that, even if it's with like a gaming console, I highly recommend you do it. Say you put one of these uh, in your home entertainment right beside your TV, and you have that ability to connect directly to your TV, just do it. Trust me, it just takes out one layer of things that could possibly go wrong, even though Wi Fi 6 is very, very secure and um, reliable. Now, in terms of the performance, I use my standard uh, Wi-Fi signal strength app on my smartphone, and I went around and checked. Now, of course, in my living room, where I have the other unit, it was 100%. As I moved forward, I came into this room, I was really curious because I have a mesh system, so I was beside this, it was giving me like 95%, so that's very, very strong. Things got really interesting when I went out on my back deck. That is an area that I typically have bad Wi-Fi. But it, it was strange because it went down and then all of a sudden it went right back up. And I think that has to do with this technology that Wi-Fi 6 has called smart steering. I believe it was in Wi-Fi 5 as well. But they've improved it. And that's basically if you're on the 5G network, which is what happens with you have a dual band device. It always wants you to be on the 5G. But in the event that you're farther away um, and you can't get that strong signal, it will push you to the 2.4. So when I went on the deck, I think I was still on 5. Then it realized I was far away. And then it moved to the 2.4 band. And that's why I saw that increase in Wi-Fi. I even went into my back shed, which is in like the farthest corner of my property. Believe it or not, I was getting Wi-Fi signals above 50% over there. So... <laughs> I wasn't expecting this type of range on two units that theoretically aren't even that far apart from each other. I didn't even strategically place this in the optimal condition to expand that outdoors. But I got to say, I was really, really impressed. And I have been a big fan of Wi-Fi 6 technology. The only issue I've had was the price of these routers. Not everybody is going to want to spend 6 7 maybe $800 on a Wi-Fi system. But this one is coming, I believe, under $300, which makes it completely affordable. In fact, I've been telling, ever since Wi-Fi 6 came out, I've been telling people, you know, now's a great time to get a Wi-Fi 5 mesh system because there's so much more affordable because you got all these Wi-Fi, all the manufacturers putting Wi-Fi 6 devices. Now, after my experience with this, I'm going to actually recommend people try the cover AX1800 mesh Wi-Fi 6 system because the proof's in the pudding and I tested it. The pudding was pretty freaking good if you ask me. That was some really decent signal strength for something that doesn't even have antennas. You know, it, it just boggles my mind, but they've made a lot of inroads in this wireless technology and it's something like this, the cover AX1800, uh, is something I'm going to recommend. Honestly, I've, I'm pretty impressed with this Wi-Fi signal performance and also because it's Wi-Fi 6 you can have like 70 devices and you're not going to have hiccups it was really designed for smart homes which is something that I have anyways folks I've been just ranting on I hope you like this review of the D-Link cover AX1800 Wi-Fi 6 whole home mesh system breathe if you like this review, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you want more information about yours truly, you can find more information about me on my website, handyandymedia.com. I too have a YouTube channel as well, I do a lot of DIY content, tech content. Pretty much when something breaks in my house, I'll fix it and I make a video about how I fixed it or how I broke it and then fixed it. So you want to check that out as well. 
Once again, my name is Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from Handy Andy Media, signing up. See you again next time. Bye for now.